smaller but just as passionate crowd is holding a similar demonstration in the North County. And our 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is in Escondido where supporters of DACA say they're more united than ever. A few dozen protesters gathered just off the 15. You can hear them chanting, love, not hate, makes America great. They're also chanting, education, not deportation. Makes America great. Nettie Velasquez smiling proudly with her diploma from Palomar College, a moment her family will never forget. She says she doesn't think there's words to describe how proud she is of how proud she is of me. Nettie was seven when her parents brought her to the U.S. illegally, her brother just a year old. She just wanted something better for her family. While her mom made a living cleaning houses, Nettie excelled in school. She's now headed to UCSD to finish her education, something she says would not have been possible without the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program known as DACA. The president's decision to phase it out is a blow to her and an estimated 40,000 other so-called dreamers living in San Diego County. Yes, this is a horrible thing to do, but I do believe that there's power in the people. David Gertschman is starting his first year at Palomar. He spent the last eight serving his country in the Marine Corps. The bottom line is we're a nation of laws. And if you can't abide by the law, then there's no reason for them to be here. Even though he sympathizes with young students like Nettie, he doesn't think these rallies are effective. I'm willing to be convinced, but I don't see them trying to convince me. All I see is them Love. creating a fuss. Congress has six months to convince the president of another solution. Nettie is also focused on politics, majoring in political science. I want to just help other people because, you, you know, that is my goal in life. Nettie says her ultimate goal is to become a senator. Meanwhile, the people out here say they'll continue putting the pressure on the people already in office to come up with another solution. In Escondido, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.